This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? I got some information right here. Shoutouts to Low Bits Positive Arc on Twitter. These guys literally became the most hated to the most beloved by Sonic fans. Incredible. Mori Kishimoto to the right, Takashi Izuka to the left. How things have changed. How the company of Sega managed to do a complete 180. All these fans, I mean, they're so fickle. They always, they could turn on you in an instant. No. No, it's because of bad leadership of the way the company was handled back then. I covered Sega News since pretty much uh 2019 i know what i'm talking about you know they've had bad mat bad management bad leadership during that time sonic was going absolutely nowhere you didn't know what was going to happen aside from a couple of 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 mobile games here and there that was really all you were getting out of sonic sonic forces speed battle and sonic dash that was the only thing you had and speaking of sonic frontiers the final horizons uh Many people have been telling me, like, is this the real true ending of the game? And my answer is yes. This is the definitive version of the game. Now, if you're playing the base version of the game without uh, without Final Horizon, that would be considered the bad ending of the game because you're fighting basically a half-assed version of the end. And, of course, Sage dies at the end. Where in this version of the game, you're fighting the supreme version of the end with a badass final boss music and an amazing Super Sonic 2 boss fight, and Sage lives at the end. So yes, this is considered to be the uh, the better ending of the two. Izuka and Mori Kishimoto, you could say whatever you want about the two, but they have redeemed themselves with Sonic Frontiers. Both men, you know, literally had their jobs on the line for this. If the game would have failed, both men would have been completely fired completely and you would have had a new regime come in and of course sonic adventure 3 most likely would have been the next mainline game whoever the new director was going to be at the time and of course whoever the new uh head of creative for sega would have been at the time you know but at least now we have a winning formula now thanks to takashi izuka saying that now we have the building foundation for the next 10 years and i couldn't agree more and speaking of that, speaking of Takashi Izuka, I myself was one of his biggest critics in 2019 because it was a different time back then. You know, because just recently, you know, when I looked at some of the 2029, 20, and 2021 videos, at the time, you know, Sega were starting to win me over, you know, you know, a little bit. I mean, I had no confidence in them in 2019. 2020, a little bit. 2021, I was more optimistic after after uh, witnessing the first Sonic Central event in May of 2021, seeing all these new games being showcased, new ideas, the classic series, Sonic Origins, and of course, uh, the first 15-second uh, trailer would, would become one of their biggest masterpieces in Sonic Frontiers, The Final Horizons. Kishimoto and Izuka, man, both these guys are national treasures at Sega. Let's be real here, especially Takashi Izuka. You know, earlier this year, he got promoted to an executive position, and ever since then, he's done a fantastic job. You know, he loves what he's doing, you know, with the franchise, you know, and Sonic the Hedgehog, you have the building foundation you need for the next 10 years. I couldn't be more excited about this. And for Mori Kishimoto, I mean, I'm excited that he was finally able to fix this patch right here uh, for Sonic Frontiers. I understand the third update it had some mixed feelings here and there, mostly negative. But I'm glad that he was able to acknowledge and fix it with the 1.41 emergency update, which finally fine-tuned the game. And I've been getting a lot of positive reactions from everybody saying they finally finished the game with the true final boss, the end, and they feel 100% satisfied. So at least for Mori Kishimoto, he was able to redeem himself right there, which is fantastic. Again, I meant Takashi Izuka and Mori Kishimoto, at one point, both these men were disliked by the community. They redeemed themselves big time with Sonic Frontiers and led us into a renaissance age. That we're in right now and right now we're anticipating what the next big project's gonna be especially with project uh 2026 and that whole 800 million dollar uh budget obviously with sega spending to make new ips you know sonic revival and all that stuff again i couldn't be any more excited everyone let me know what you all think about this and i'll see you all later peace out